By now it should be painfully obvious that we live in a post Tony Morris era where the floods of organizational changes have become possible and a new version of the religion, some have called it World Star 2.0, is emerging with a soft approach to disfellowshipping practices across the board for all those who sin. Nevertheless, three groups of people will still be targeted for harsh excommunication. We know the first two very well, the CSA perpetrators and apostates. The, reason are, the reasons are obvious. The first group has cost the organization millions in settlement cases, and the second, the apostates, are the ones exposing the Watchtower for the toxic cult that they are. But the third one caught my attention. The ones who scheme to end their marriages. Whatever this is, and why is the Watchtower so concerned with this group of people? Now, before I delve into the reasons why, here is the direction that was sent to all elders only a few days ago from the organization as regards disfellowshipping practices all over the world. And it says, by skillful use of the scriptures, the committee should try to reach the wrongdoer's heart and lead him to repentance. If through your efforts Jehovah gives the individual repentance, this is a cause for rejoicing. And they quote some scriptures from Luke and Timothy. In such cases, appropriate restrictions will be temporarily imposed. If the wrongdoing is widely known or likely to come become known, a brief announcement of the reproof can be made to the congregation. Restrictions should be viewed as temporary and should be removed without delay as the individual makes a spiritual recovery. Of course, with certain kinds of wrongdoing, such as, you know, CSA, um, uh, apostasy, and scheming to end a marriage, restrictions will need to be in place much longer. Now, the uh, Serpent the Flock book, uh, 2022 edition, has this to say about those scheming to end their marriage. Whether or not a divorced Christian remarries, if he deliberately committed adultery in a scheming way, so as to end his previous marriage, or he pressured his innocent mate to reject him so that she eventually agreed to a divorce, he has dealt treacherously with her. He would not qualify for special privileges for many years. Also, an eternal recent memo to elders, which was posted over a year ago, and you can find it on my website, offered directions within the same lines. So, this group of sinners have now joined the apostates and CSA perpetrators. This is not an accident. Here's what I think. Over the past decades, due to a relaxed attitude towards divorces that left the door open for one or both marriage mates to invent new ways in getting a divorce, this has created a toxic environment in many kingdom halls for the following reasons. First of all, the divorce rate amongst Jehovah's Witnesses is way higher than in previous years. In my congregation alone of 120 publishers, I counted 25 divorces or over 20% rate. Usually in the world, people get divorced and remarry and disappear from the radar. But in the Jehovah's Witnesses, they tend to stay in the Witnesses and many times stay in the same congregation, creating a toxic environment for them and all the families involved. Most of the times, the innocent married parties get stumbled and leave the congregation is, and then the congregation is left with the uh, rotten eggs that skimmed in the first place to end their marriages. Uh, some brothers or sisters have realized they can get away with murder because of the loopholes in the, the Watchtower created in the first place. And they turn divorcing JW style into a cottage industry. I know of a sister who got away with three scriptural divorces, having accused her husbands for fictitious and yet scripturally valid reasons to end her marriage. The Watchtower has finally realized that long term, this attitude towards divorce has left them with congregations full of legally accepted adulterers who skimmed their way out of Bible-based marriages. 
This has created a void and a reducing in contributions from all those who walked away over the years because of this reason. That is why in 2024, this group, those who scheme to end their marriage, have now become top priority target for long and harsh disfellowshipping. As severe as those who are accused for apostasy or CSA uh, victims. What do you think? Have you witnessed that in your congregation? What does the future hold for JW divorces? Now, you can find this article on my website. And if you enjoy this kind of articles and this kind of videos, please feel to leave a super thanks at the end of the video. Or if you want to further uh, help the channel and the website, there is a join it button below where you can join as a member. Also, I would like to say that there is now a new feature on the website that you can download jwupdates.com as an app on your phone so you never miss an article and you can have it uh, there handy on your mobile phone. So with that in mind, please let me know what you think and I'll speak to you soon. Take care. Bye for now.